notion of romantic love to be a you know an unnecessary cultural construct that you know really doesn't doesn't add any value to the human relationship but you know, I love my mother and my father and my sister and my aunt and uncles and my, my two dogs dearly. You know, but that's a different type of love than, you know, than what I what I just described. So that would be my main outlook on that. I like that you threw your dog in there. No, definitely. Dog. I love my dogs too. Oh my gosh. Oh, I miss that stupid dog. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so in your opinion, what is the difference between good and evil? Or you can just define what good and evil is or just, you know, kind of take that as you want it. No, that's a wonderful question, honestly. That, to me, personally, I, I don't think there's a difference between good and evil. I think that there's only what an individual believes is, you know, I believe it, it varies between each person. So, while I believe, or that I, while I think and feel that, you know, the Al-Qaeda or the Taliban members are evil to me, sure. I can guarantee you they do not feel that. You know, they, yeah. they see us as being the evil ones. So... You know, I don't look as e- I don't look at evil being, you know, like heaven or hell, you know, or the devil or something. You know, I just see it as what an individual person believes is wrong in their own worldviews. See, um, next question: Does human life have value? Uh, and if it does, uh, where where do you think that comes from? And I think that's that's interesting, uh, considering you're you're thinking going in the military and stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, that's um. I would say value, I would, you know, to me, again, kind of going back to the first question, I feel the value comes from, you know, individual goals, you know, and achievements that we set for ourselves and how motivated and dedicated we are to to go through life and achieving those goals. And I, you know, I think that a lot of people have, you know, great ambitions and goals they want to achieve, but then sometimes shy away from that, you know, as they, as they live their life, you know, throughout the, however long they're here on earth. But... As far as a value for, you know, maybe an afterlife or something like that, like, are we valuing something so that we can, you know, get something later after we die? I, I, to me, there's no, there's no value such that, you know, so, yeah. Just kind of while you're here. Yeah, you know, while you're here, there's, there's a value for what you're doing, you know, what you're interested in, you know, what, what motivates you. But as a value for, do I need to do this to do something after I die? There's no value to me in that. And that, yeah. Um, that kind of goes in the next question. Uh, what is the purpose of life? I mean, that is just, that's gotta be the biggest question. Like I think anybody could ever ask yeah. themselves, you know, it's something everybody asks. Themselves. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. What are your thoughts? Um, again, yeah, you know, to me, the, I don't think of a, as, as an ultimate purpose in life. You know, I just, I feel that we are given the one chance that we have, we're given the one life that we have. And again, you know, we should go through, work hard, you know, be respectful of those around us and, you know, do what we can to to make something of ourselves and be successful in our life. And, you know, any other purpose, any other purpose to an ultimate, you know, to a, to a meaning to life is, is to me just a way of people being able to, you know, ease their suffering of those that have died around them or ease their, ease their worries and fears about what, you know, what does or does not happen after we do die. Yeah, because it's that's scary. Yeah, and that goes right in the next question. What do you believe happens to you after you die? Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I've heard uh, people similar worldviews to you have going a different bunch of different ways, and and uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just interested. Yeah, in what definitely. Um, wonderful question. I mean, that's that's obviously you know a big one that everybody you know has different views about. But I would say, and not to sound you know too vulgar or too straight to the point, but after we die you know there's nothing you know we're dead i mean to me that's what it is and i just think that we're dead and i feel that we you know we should be remembered for the legacy that hopefully we have left behind you know that some people you know really care about you know what people think of them after they die but hopefully you know you've left a good memory of yourself and you've left a good legacy behind for people to know you by yeah yeah right on Okay, yeah, so uh, I have a question about the afterlife, but that's kind of, uh, I don't know, it doesn't really apply here. I mean, you can answer it if you want to answer it. Okay, yeah. Um, It says, my question was, do you believe in afterlife? And uh, if you do, how how do you go to heaven? So, uh, I mean, it seems kind of pointless for you to answer that, but if you want to say something on it, that's fine. Okay. uh, Obviously, you know, as I mentioned, you know, I don't believe in, you know, in the afterlife, or I don't think there is, but... uh, you know, to 
to be a, to get into heaven, you know, I think that's really something that uh, I know you and I have had discussions with, you know, and I think you know it's gone really in good directions, but. I think it varies on, you know, what people, you know, the extent of their belief and, you know, and how well, you know, personally, if, you know, like just, just to answer the question, have a good, you know, sure. constructive conversation, I would say to just be a good and decent person, you know, and working hard and not trying to take shortcuts and, you know, or yeah, just yeah. knowing that you're going to have to sacrifice, you know, certain things to be successful and to be somebody in this world to, you know, I would say, and, you know, of course, this goes without saying, I'm not trying to offend anybody, you know, you, but, you know, I just, if there is, you know, an, an afterlife, if you know people say, I would say, my opinion would be that I, I don't, I don't want to believe that you'd have to be a, a Christian or you know a person of religion to get into heaven. I would hope that, you know, me or some many people that I know that aren't religious that have that are leading good and successful lives that they would have you know the same, same, yeah, same exactly. Thank you. Same opportunity to to get into heaven and be you know and be in that place. So. Well, I'm I'm glad you answered that because yeah. I was just like, well, that doesn't really fit, but uh, you did it anyway. I appreciate yeah. that. So, uh, how do you feel about people who disagree with your worldview and have other beliefs? That's a very good question. Again, um, just chock full of them, aren't you, Charlie? Yeah. Good question. Um, that you know, good. I'm perfectly acceptable to those that you know oppose or you know that are against how I you know what I believe or basically my worldviews, but. Uh, Obviously, you know, because I'm obviously surrounded by you know many people that lead a different life than I do. But you know, if if they're acceptable and you know are able to have you know constructive you know conversations and arguments about you know the two different topics, then I'm totally on board. You know, being with you know like you and I, you know, you're great. Like you're the honestly, you know, one of the best persons I can discuss. You know, these these two topics with you know, and there's I mean, there's a lot of people that that are here that you know you can you can discuss it with, but. On the other end of the spectrum, you know, if the person is, you know, judgmental or rude about how I'm living my life, then that brings up whole other issues with me, and I don't, uh, I, I don't, I, I've, I've encountered a few of those people, but I, I try to steer clear of them because I just don't want to get into any arguments, you know, try to offend somebody in something that I'm not associated in. Yeah, totally. yeah because I mean, you can't expect people like if you have a certain list of rules because of your religion or whatever and somebody's not involved with that, you can't expect them to okay. follow that. Yeah. That's just ridiculous, yeah. I'm, I'm with you, but uh, so uh, yeah, I don't have this on here, but uh, are there any final thoughts you wanna add? Anything to end um, it with? You know, just, um, yeah, <laughs> um, thank you so much for you know giving me the opportunity. You know, I love talking about this, even though I'm not you know associated with any type of religion. I do enjoy talking about it and you know, uh, constructively arguing it, you know, giving my points. And so to all the viewers, I hope you find this, you know, entertaining and helpful. I know that Charlie has a lot of great ideas and a lot of great thoughts that he brings to the table. So, you know, listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. So thanks again, Charlie. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. And uh, I just want to say thanks for, you know, being brave enough to sit here and do this, yeah, definitely. you know, and I'm sure somebody's going to say something really inappropriate about what you believe and about what I believe. That's so, fine. you know, I just, I take it as it, I take it as it is. And, you know, if it's something they, you know, believe strongly, that's fine. I'm not going to, I have, you know, matured over the four years of being here. I'm yeah. sure back a few years ago, if they'd have said something, I'd have got off the deep end. But, you know, that's, that's definitely their opinion. And if, you know, they want to bring it up with me, I'm sure they can get in touch with me somehow. So we'll see where the comments come. So. Okay. Well, thanks, guys, for watching the video. Uh, this is Jesus Loving Buddy. Hopefully we'll get some more interviews going. So uh, God bless, guys. Take it easy.